in the like village that I built the little villager hut in and you access like the entrance to the house from the roof um, and the villager has a level one trade that is mending one all right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two and it's just some emeralds in a book. Strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Big punch lands. Oh, yeah. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just missed with the left there. Big leg kick land. Oh, yeah, right in. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Also, the taller fighter lands in knee yet again. Oh, man. Body shot doing damage like that. Back to the feet. Oh, big left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in time. Slips to avoid the right. Beautiful kick. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Oh, comedy. Wow. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish can come here at any time. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Big kick lands. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Gotcha, bitch! Unbelievable! Be mad, son, because you just got played, bro. Wow, nice. Thank you. Holy saw it coming Thanks. and before he could recover the referee was in to stop the fight so a huge the fight's not done till it's done boy right, you can't be trying to hit me with the slimy shit i'll punch you in the back of the head <laughs> that's what happened bro i don't know i don't really want to rematch the guy but he wants to rematch me i gotta pay him his respects it's not like I won in some cheesy way. I, I fucking slept his dumb ass. His, his bitch ass was a fucking sleep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Brother is gonna pick fucking Jujitsu Vanguard? Let's go. No, I probably should have stayed to my kickboxer ways. I'm gonna lose. This fight will be all. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Is this sponsored? Well, how the fuck do I get sponsored? Oh no, this is a Japanese box. Never mind. I can't imagine buying Japanese box just for content. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. Good 
to have you with us tonight. Of course, we are inside Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, USA. And every time I walk through these walls, I can't help but think about Gilbert Melendez and Diego oh. Sanchez going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Back at UFC 166, remember Rogan? Oh, my God! It was the craziest fight. You could not believe what you were watching. These two guys said, this is the night that we make history. We're going to stand on a quarter in the middle of the octagon and let them fly, and that they did. Houston, the Toyota Center, has been home to some of the greatest fights in UFC history. Big punch lands through the middle. Beautiful body kick. And they separate. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Back and forth we go. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in D.C. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg. He's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh wee! Ooh wee, what a right hand by this young man. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Great punch. Big head kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, now these strikes are really starting to add up here, DC, against the fence and really starting to do some damage. Woof. He's doing a ton of damage from this position. Survival of the fittest. I should have kickboxed because I'm just boxing. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what Silly me, silly me, silly me, silly me. Very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He never looked this good. Ooh, that up, that up, that up. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so active. What do you mean? When he decides to attack, it is a sight to behold. Beautiful strike. Missed with that right hand. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. Come on, bro. Let me fucking sway that shit. Landed with so much force. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. Whoa! Sit down, bitch. Sit down, bitch. Get up. Boom! Give me it, give me it. Give me it. I want it. It's mine. Just give me it, bruh. Sorry, you're getting clipped and you're going on.
too. Bow. GG, son. Thanks. You're welcome. Great fight. Well played. Dude, I don't know. I think Pyroxis taught me that fucking setup, but it, it goes crazy. I threw that shit all fight long, and I knocked him out with it. GG, bro.